You don't know the Holy Ghost. You have a religious Holy Ghost. And he's in a box of littleness. You, you're trying to box the Holy living Ghost God and he God wants to get out. Last week I answered a question that Holy I wanted Ghost to continue uh, talking about this today. week because so much of what has been uh, people get tripped up over when you mention uh, worshiping the Holy Ghost though they'll, they'll immediately gravitate towards this verse of Scripture that just kind of throws them off and then and they 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 just don't they just stop right there the question was I thought the Bible said that the Holy Ghost won't speak of himself and it seems like a strange question but you understand I thought the Bible said that the Holy Ghost won't speak about himself or won't speak of himself or won't speak on his own authority and those people would be correct in knowing that the Bible actually does say that and what I talked about last week was that I think that is just a terrible translation it's a and it's a ter it's even a worse interpretation so much of why people don't worship the Holy Ghost is based on the, the misinterpretation of this verse and wrong ideas that are then associated with it let's look at a verse of scripture first here Matthew chapter 22 and verse 29 Jesus answered and said unto them you do error so even back in that day the people were in error they were making mistakes why he said not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God so people have an idea of what the scriptures say but they don't really know that scripture what it's actually saying and then they don't know the power of God or the operation of God or how God does things how God does things if you don't know what the scriptures are actually saying or how God does things then guess what according to Jesus and the word you're gonna be in error and so people are in error over this verse of scripture now let's let's uh let's turn over there and read it i thought the bible said the holy ghost won't speak of himself well it does say that i thought the bible said the holy ghost won't speak about himself well this verse of scripture does say that i thought the holy i thought the bible said the holy ghost won't speak on his own authority well many translations say that and last week I went as, as, as well as I could within the half hour that I have of showing you that that's just a botched interpretation and it's terrible. And it doesn't, it doesn't even go in line with the rest of Scripture. So it can't possibly mean that. So let's look here. Let's read it. John chapter 16 and verse 13. How be it when he, so we're talking about a person, the person of the Holy Ghost how be it when he the Spirit of truth is come well his name is one of his names is the Spirit of truth why is his name the Spirit of truth because he is the Spirit of truth everything about him has to do with truth there is no falsehood there is no lie in him he is not a man that he should lie he is God and he is truth how be it when he the Spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all the truth isn't that amazing he's the spirit of truth if you follow him he will guide you into all truth the beginning truth the middle truth and the end truth because you're following him and he's guiding you he's the spirit of truth and he's guiding you into all the truth let's read on for he shall not speak of himself See, now people have taken this completely out of context and, 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 and trying to put it into something that it's not, when the fact is he's the spirit of truth. When he has come, he will guide you into all truth, because, and he will not speak of himself. And the word, the word here, of, is, is horrendously translated. It should be off. So many other times in the Bible it's translated off or away from. So he won't speak off of the truth. He won't speak away from himself, meaning he's only going to speak the truth. He's only going to speak from himself. You know, when people say he won't speak of himself, he won't speak of his own authority, when that's completely opposite of what it's saying. He will speak of himself. He will speak of his own authority. He won't speak away from himself. If I was the spirit of truth, 
and I couldn't say anything but the truth I couldn't perjure myself or make a lie or a false accusation I could only speak the truth then I can't speak away from myself because anything to any degree away from himself would be a falsehood that's what it's saying he can't speak anything but the truth let's read on when he has come the spirit of truth he will guide you into all the truth for he shall not speak away from himself but whatsoever he shall hear now this is really what I want to cover today uh, last week I covered more of what I just talked about how he won't speak of you know he won't speak of his own authority which is just ridiculous I'll touch on it a little bit but this week I really want to touch on this next part of the verse but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come people would wrongly interpret this that the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today the third part of the Trinity can only speak what he hears which is implying that he's hearing only limited little bits that God is somehow feeding to him he'll only speak the little bits that God feeds to him and then and then he'll 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 speak that to you he'll only hear a little bit he'll only hear it, you know this it's so ridiculous he knows all the truth he is all the truth it can't possibly mean that are you saying the scriptures can't possibly mean I'm saying that the way this was translated and the interpretation thereof can't possibly mean that so let's look into that a little bit more remember when people are erring because they don't know what the, they don't know the scripture or the power of God or the way God operates but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak now the word whatsoever here is translated whatsoever but it means as much as it means in the degree so again we have a wrong interpretation or a wrong translation it's not whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak as if some other God is feeding the Holy Ghost little bits of information that he's only oh I heard that I heard that oh I heard that I can speak this now because I'm under authority of God he is God whatsoever as much as not like the limited degree that our religious idea and concept of this verse says that the Holy Ghost that's in you he will just hear a little bit of truth and when he hears that little bit of truth that's what he will speak that's goofy and that's wrong whatsoever degree that you can hear that shall he speak Jesus said I have yet many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now but when he is come so what we have here is Jesus beginning to give you an insight into the way God operates he's gonna operate in you a specific way he's the spirit of truth he's gonna come he's gonna speak only about the truth he's gonna lead you by the truth and then as you hear the truth he will speak the truth to you so I won't have you turn over there but Psalm 78 verse 41 if you want to look it up it says the people limited the Holy One of Israel they limited him well, we're doing the same thing today we're limiting God by putting him in a little box that's saying he can't, won't speak of his own authority <laughs> he won't speak uh, but but the little bits of things that he hears which is just completely ridiculous what we have here in an operational sense is Jesus giving you and me a window into how this whole thing's gonna work for you let's read it again with it with that in mind Jesus giving a window an opening up to you some understanding so that you can see how this is gonna work for you how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all the truth see that's how it's gonna work the spirit of truth is gonna come he's gonna guide me into all the truth for he shall not speak away from himself he's gonna speak the truth but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak now remember it says whatsoever he shall hear again I don't know what kind of drugs these people were on when they were translating this you know what it says it says not what he shall hear it literally means what comes to the ears to the degree that comes to the ears there's no he in there 
It's implying, this is putting the Holy Ghost in a box and making him look like something he is not. And it's making him, it's literally taking the teeth out of the lion, so to speak. Because he's God in the earth today and he's going to speak to you truth upon truth upon truth upon truth. He knows all the truth and you are the one who can't hear it. You've become dull of hearing. Let me see if I can get this across. It's not he shall hear like it's written here. There is no he. To the degree of what comes to the ear, that shall he speak. Since really, the best translation, let me just say it the way that it is. Uh, <clears throat> truth, because he's the spirit of truth. Truth that comes into your innermost being via the Holy Ghost. That's him speaking. That you can hear, that's him speaking. Once again, an operational sense. He's the spirit of truth. When he comes, he's going to lead you, guide you into all the truth. He won't speak anything but the truth. And to whatever degree that you can hear whatever degree of that coming into your spirit man that you can hear you will know that that's him speaking that's what this means that's what this is saying to you not that he can't speak on his own authority and he won't speak anything but you know it's I'm dumbfounded the more I look into this now how many times does the scriptures say look at uh, revelations 2 7 he that has ears to hear hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches who had to have the ears who had to have the capacity to hear it wasn't God it wasn't the Holy Ghost he was saying something already it was the people who were dull of hearing that doesn't apply to God he doesn't need to have his ears tuned up so oh wait a minute now now I can hear what I'm saying huh. first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 for what man knows the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him even so the things of God knows no man but who the Spirit of God this verse itself goes completely crosswise with the Holy Ghost not being able to hear anything except what some other God feeds to him he is God he knows all the things of God he knows all the things of man the only thing that's limiting him in speaking truth to you is your ability to hear whatsoever degree that you can hear that shall he speak that was good I hope you got that he already knows everything so our knowing our hearing becomes a, a knowing now I wanted to give you this little illustration because this is this this has been going on in the body of Christ for a long time where by taking these verses of Scripture particularly in John chapter 16 and you know verse let's read it again John chapter 16 verse 13 how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all the truth for he shall not speak away from himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak he will show you things to come we have literally been limiting the Holy One of Israel and we've been putting him in a box that he doesn't belong in and then we wonder why the heavens haven't opened up to us why we haven't been able to walk in the kind of truth that we need to walk in in these last days it be, it's because we've been limiting him he already knows all of the truth but we can't hear it yet because we're dull of hearing and one of the things that are dull of hearing is these verses of Scripture that have been wrongly interpreted and they've been putting him in a box and it's been putting a personality uh, it's been putting a, a an assumed personality on the Holy Ghost that isn't doesn't belong to him at all He's so meek. He's so mild. He doesn't speak of himself. And I, uh, hopefully next week, I, I know I'm not going to get be able to get all this across this week, but uh, he won't speak anything except about Jesus. And if he isn't lifting up Jesus and he only speaking about Jesus, then he won't speak of himself. He'll just, he'll just cower away because he's the Holy Ghost. He's very wimpy and weak and my, are you kidding? He's the living God. Do you remember Ananias and Sapphira? What they do? They lied to the Holy Ghost. What happened to them? They died. Oh, wimpy, weak, mild-mannered Holy Ghost. Oh, oh. That's not his personality at all. That's not the personality of God. 
and you've been putting it on him I remember back when I was uh, early on uh, I was going to some conventions and I'd just been saved maybe about a year or so but I've been learning about my words and I didn't want to put my foot in my mouth because it doesn't taste good so I mean when I was around these other Christians who'd been in the faith longer I'd just be quiet I wouldn't say much I was listening I was learning but if you know me I'm not meek I'm, I'm, I mean I'm not I'm not shy I'm not I don't I, I speak up I say things I have an opinion you know but these people because they were older than me and I was around them and I wouldn't say much they would they would introduce me oftentimes to other people and they say oh here's Andrew he's very quiet he doesn't say much he just has a very timid personality they'd say things like that to me and you know the effect of that was for the rest of that time that I was in that social situation I was I was put a label on that I was somehow me that I was somehow shy that I didn't say much those people didn't know me at all I have a lot to say I was just acting in a certain way in a certain situation I and mean, I didn't have enough to say are you kidding me don't put that on me don't put that on me we've been putting this on the Holy Ghost we've been putting on the Holy Ghost that he won't even talk about himself when the Bible is replete with verse after verse after verse of him revealing himself the Living God revealing himself to you we put a personality on him that is not his and so when someone like me or other people that talk about the Holy Ghost who he is and what he's doing in the earth today and that he's God in the earth today then then people go well that doesn't sound right that doesn't sound like the Holy Ghost because remember the Bible says the Holy Ghost will never speak about himself and if he speaks at all he will only lift up Jesus he will only talk about Jesus you don't know the Holy Ghost you have a religious Holy Ghost and he's in a box of littleness we need to let the Holy Ghost come out we need to let him be big in the earth and big in you the Living God in the earth today not just all boxed up by some ridiculous translation and you know, you know religious ideas but uh, John chapter 16 verse 13 how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all the truth now remember this is an operational sense that Jesus is talking about you can't bear things now but when he comes you'll be able to bear things why because listen here when he has come the spirit of truth he will guide you into all the truth you couldn't bear it but he'll guide you for he shall not speak away from himself meaning he won't speak anything but the truth but whatsoever he hears or or to the degree not that he hears seriously you're gonna say that about this scripture to the degree that the Spirit of God hears something that will he speak here's a little Spirit of God on the earth hey God God let me hear something let me hear something anything anything let me hear something are you kidding me that, that's ridiculous it's what you hear when you when when you hear it that you can know because it's truth that that's the Holy Ghost speaking right when you hear the truth you'll know that it's the spirit of truth saying it and he will show you things to come again an operational sense about how you get to walk with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 for what man knows the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him even so the things of God knows no man but who knows them the Spirit of God he already knows all of those things he already knows it all the only reason you don't know it is because you haven't learned in an operational sense how to hear what the Spirit of God is saying to you and when you when it's revealed to you then you know that he's speaking it and he shows you things to come you get this those are operational verses verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God right God already knows them now we have the Spirit of God now through our interaction with the Holy Ghost when he is come he'll be revealing things to us that we couldn't bear before in an operational sense 
read verse 12 again now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God which things also we speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches but which the Holy Ghost teaches he will teach you he will lead you he will guide you into all the truth but how what's the operational way let's keep looking right but the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God for their foolishness unto him neither can he know them or hear them or understand them because they're spiritually discerned we have to begin to listen to the Spirit of truth who abides within you and helps you to know the things of the future helps you to know the things that are truth and of the Spirit of God and these things begin to operate into you when you begin to acknowledge that the Holy Ghost is much bigger than the little box that you put him in that little box of I thought the Holy Ghost wouldn't speak of himself <music>